as you can see, I already got the cover off, my dash cover. And the easy thing about it is just a bunch of clips, like you see right here, all the way down. Okay, see, just a bunch of clips. And when you go to take that off, all you got to do is just reach behind it, you know, grab it and pull it, you know. But being that my hand isn't all that great, whoops, sorry about that. What I used is I went ahead and I used one of these body pick things, you know, for auto body, for pulling panels and stuff. And I just started it, you know, just popped it right out and it came right out. All right. So that's the first, plus the fact that you got to put your steering wheel Tilt it down as far as it'll go. Your gear, your uh, gear shift. Put it down all the way to the bottom, you know, and it'll come out a whole lot easier. So now what we got, okay, is we got four little screws. One right there, okay. Let me see if you can see it. One way back there. Oh, here it is, right here. Let me see. Oh, shit. That one right there. And then on the other side, same thing. One right there, one right there. All right. And all we gotta do is get those off of there and your cluster comes right out. Okay. So we're gonna try to do this, try to film it while I'm taking it apart. Let's see if we can do that. Okay, obviously the light, there's no, let me see, ah, there we go, cool, all right, so, I got to figure out what size, screw I got to use, I mean socket, let's see, let's see if this one's it. An extension will be helpful too. Okay. Makes it a little easier. There we go. All right. So what I'm using is seven millimeter. Okay. That's the one we need. picking it up probably not but there's okay there's a plug right there that, that blue and white plug all right those have to just come undone fairly easy just there you go it's out and there you have it gauge cluster is out And you can see it's all out. The gauge cluster is out and ready to be taken in tomorrow for repairs. All right, so we got to drive it to this guy in nearby town 
he's going to go ahead and fix it and that's the plug right there for the whole cluster right there that's it he says bring it in in the morning and it'll be ready by the end of the day but anyways that's all it was with just four little screws holding this whole thing in there and one plug and as for the for the panel cover it's just this right here and it's just got clips all the way around I fit in these holes right there right there right there all I gotta do is just grab a hold of it and just pop it out and that's it and we'll just go ahead and wait till tomorrow and see what happens all right welcome back you two. Oh man day two well I got my gauge back my gauges cluster whatever you want to call it and now we're gonna go ahead and attempt to put it back in uh, so anyways yeah I had it had a couple gauges that weren't registering so I took it out and took it to the shop and they uh, took care of it as you saw in the first video so today I'm gonna to go ahead and attempt to go ahead and put it back in so Hope we can get this on on video. Ready? Here we go. Oh, all right. Hold. Oh, oh, okay. go whoo baby get this out of the way all right now we just screw it back in we turn the ignition off now cool open this up all right let me bring the camera over here. All right. I'll show you what we got going on. If I can get it off of here. There we go. All right, let me turn this. All right. So, oh, come on now. There we go. Yeah. Speedometer's working again. Got to change my oil. Everything's lighting up again. Fuel gauge, oil gauge, the temperature gauges. We are good. So now all I got to do is screw it back in. Let me turn these windows. It's kind of hot in here. So, anyways, let me turn this camera around again. All right. Now that we got the camera back on the tripod, let's go ahead and put these screws back in there where they belong. God, I hope I don't drop them. There's one. This is that tricky one because no matter where you put the steering wheel at it gets in the way there we go okay 
Okay, there's that one. Let's go ahead and do this bottom one here. And you really can't get it wrong because it's got those guide pins in there. It's got four guide pins, actually two guide pins, to where the pins got to go in. So that kind of pretty much does the alignment for you. Okay, there's that one. And one more. Let's drop this back down again. All right, let's just go ahead and start tightening it up as we go. And we'll go ahead and start with this one. And you don't have to torque it down either, you just because it's all plastic. So you just, as long as it's snug, you're good to go. Just as you start feeling it get tight, that's all you got to do. Right there like that. There we go. We'll do the tricky one. Bam. There we go. That bad boy is in. Now all we got to do is just put the put the trim back around it and we're done. That's it. Mission accomplished. Okay. And again, like I mentioned, this thing here is just a bunch of clips. And it's pretty obvious where they go. Now we can get it in there. Get my dog, get my dog tags out of the way. There we go. Ah. There we go. Okay. Make sure we're lined up. That one's in there. This one. Oh, there we go. Okay. Put my wires for my dash cam sticky thing yeah I don't have a portable I mean I don't have a built-in dash cam so I gotta use a portable one so anyways let me get the camera off here again and show you what we did how we're doing so here you have it it's back in there let's start this bad boy up look at that wow that lights up nice Yes, I know, it's due for an oil change. Hey, looky there. Huh. And why is my engine light staying on? Well, because I need to change the fuel filter, change the oil. Yeah. And possibly uh, reset it, I guess. I don't know. Odometer, we only have 213,000 for an 05. We're doing good. 
so I'm gonna take it for a test drive and I'll be right back well there you have it all I went ahead and I changed my got my cluster fixed can I don't know if you can see it not that it really matters but anyways yeah first time I did that it was very easy to take it out and all that and I'm sure that check engine light was because of the fact that we disconnected it and took it apart or whatever you know and now they just got to reset it but I've gotten I've got my truck set up for uh, usual maintenance here coming up and they're gonna go ahead and change the oil and the fuel filter and all that other good shit <laughs> but uh, anyways that's how we went ahead and uh, fixed our uh, gauge cluster and how we took it off and put it on I hope this video was helpful and I want to thank everybody for subscribing and liking and commenting and doing all that fun stuff that we do on YouTube. So until next time, thanks for watching the Old Farts Garage and we'll have some more content on the 63 here coming up. So hope you guys uh, hang in there with me and tune in when I do set my when I do upload some new videos. So. Y'all have a good day now and uh, God bless.